Okay, here's a video on how to do this leaf in um, matrix art. So the first thing and the easiest thing is um, for this to be really successful, um, we want to put the uh, convert the white to black. And I'm in Digital Goldsmith, but you could do this with the Magic Wand tool in Photoshop or probably Photoshop Elements. Um, you could work with this with the white background and invert it, but it would make these, I want these to be raised up like they are, and that would make these go sunken in, which if you wanted it that way, that's fine. But otherwise, because this is on white, we need to convert it to black. Uh, in DG, there is a magic wand style tool. It's right here. And um, it's trace. And we go to advanced, and right now the high is 255. So it'll look for something 255, which is pure white, on down to the low of 1. But we can't start at 255 because it'll find white and stop tracing, and it'll just make a box. Um, what I did is I started messing around. I went to like 240 is where I started. And then you draw the box around there and then click and um, that was not uh, low enough so I'm going to throw those lassos away and um, in messing around I found that 225 was a real good number. Notice we're using luminance not any other methodology and so we click here and then click and there's the trace. Now you'll notice if we zoom in here that it traced some of the bright stuff on the inside too but it did go around the outside. Okay and so what I would do is come in here and draw a region of selection but just hold up short of the whole thing. Go down here and that'll grab all the interior components which we can then just throw away. So now we're left with one lasso that is around the outside edge. Okay, I'm going to double click on the pick tool and that takes me to lasso options. In which case I'm going to turn on anti-alias which will smooth out the outside edge. That'll get rid of the aliasing or the stair stepping. Anti-alias. Okay. Put that in a job bag. Then I'm going to clear the screen and then bring this out and when I bring it out in the paste options I'm going to choose alpha so that it uses the anti-aliasing that I chose so we'll pick alpha and then I'm going to place that down now it did a pretty good job especially especially if we zoom in over here you can see that it traced it and anti-aliased it but over here um, it didn't do quite as good a job. I don't want this white around this edge. So what I did is I'm going to bring back the lasso and I'm going to click on uh, the lasso and I'm going to use the arrow keys and I'm going to arrow up once and then over to the right once. And so that moves this over a little bit and up. And then with anti-alias still on I'm going to throw that in a job bag. Okay? And then I'm going to hit clear again, and then when I bring this one out and do alpha, I now have a really good trace of that leaf. The last thing that I want to do is so that this is consistent. You see how white this is, and then it gets kind of greenish here. Uh, what I'm going to do is draw a lasso around here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to come up to Effects and Brighten once, and then Effects Brighten again, and again, and maybe one more time, and make that as light as the other uh, ones are. Okay, so now this is my new image. So I'm just going to save this, and, and usually when I come out of DG, um, 
I'm going to save this as a uh, BMP. Oops, like I said, a BMP. There we go. And uh, we'll call this New Leaf. And 24-bit uh, is good because that's the full range of colors. So, yay. Okay, so now we'll come back to uh, Matrix, and here we go. So the first thing that I do is I want to use this at the proper um, at the proper aspect ratio and here's what I mean by that let's go to view and place background or place um, uh, oh there it is new leaf um, picture frame this is uh, this is picture frame right here and new leaf and we'll click once and then again and there's my leaf okay uh, I'll put this on the gray layer and then we're going to go to yellow and go to um, curve and dupe border and that'll duplicate the border so there's the aspect ratio the picture frame leaves the X and the Y uh, the same aspect ratio and therefore when I place it I now know the exact ratio of the picture um, I can now turn off uh, that layer and there's my my box. So now we'll come over to Matrix Art, and our working area is going to get really small now. But um, I'm going to take the resolution up to about 17 or 18, give or take, and hit Update Resolution. I'll do that right up. You can do that anytime, but I'm going to do it right off the bat. Okay. So we grab the curve, put it in the box, and it immediately applies this ramped line so it makes this kind of pyramid. Um, I don't want any surface other than the texture of the leaf so I'm going to go to load profile and choose um, flat right here. The one called flat and I'm going to slide this down to straight up zero. Nothing. No surface. Okay. Then we come back to picture. Load bitmap and uh, there's my new leaf right there and we say open and it immediately goes on there and we will hit fill shape and so now it fills that shape exactly one to one and we can turn this back on and see that it matches my uh, green one. Yay. All right, so we'll turn that off. Okay, let's look and see what we have. My bitmap height right now is 1, which is plenty, depending on what you want. I'm going to go down to about half, and you can hold down shift, and it'll snap to tenths. And um, you'll notice there's quite a bit of texture here. We certainly get the veins. We certainly get that. Um, but I want to smooth this out a little bit, so I am going to come over to Effects. There's a couple things we can do. Um, we can come over and uh, let's go to Blur Amount right here and go Low. And then let's go to Medium. And... Uh, medium is not bad uh, at all as a matter of fact you can you can play around with the resolution too and actually sometimes a lower resolution is actually better because it'll take away detail as you can see there or here's what it looks like at 20 and you can see it gets much uh, tighter so I actually prefer perhaps somewhere around uh, 13 or so to where I still get the veins but not as much going on in between them okay so let's go back to effects now if there's still more noise in this than you want I mean well I guess we could go to high as well so there's there's none medium or low medium and high and I guess medium's pretty good. 
The other thing we can do is come into the low end contrast of this image. And as I pull this up, now yes, it's going to fill in the square here. But as I pull this up, this is like the water level of the image. And as I pull it up, it'll start to take away the lower. Now that's really not doing me a whole lot of good. So I don't think I'm going to mess with that. It depends on what's going around on the edge too though. Sometimes I like to make that smoother on the edge. And maybe we like that better. Maybe we'll do that because that unfortunately takes away the fact that um, my picture um, was, was black and therefore had no height at all. Um, so, but we can... Uh, we can fix that um, by tracing, and this will be good actually to to make sure we can trim this. So that's that's really the extent of the of the artwork needed for that. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and one thing that you want to make sure you do that can mess you up is if you go to um, you want you want to end matrix art on either this layer section or picture section not the effects because this will this will make it so that your tools out here don't work correctly you can see as a matter of fact that since I'm in this menu with effects and I can sit and paint and do things it's taken over my cursor and it's a circle because it's this paint mode notice when I go back out to either of these two modes I'm back just in normal uh, rhino or matrix mode um, I'm going to go ahead and hit Create Mesh and let it do that. And then, no matter what mode you're in, if you close Matrix Art, then obviously it can't do any of that to you anyway. So, just FYI. Alright, so there's there's the leaf, though. Um, and all its splendor. And if you do the plastic shade mode, uh, you can see it looks looks pretty good. The next thing we want to do then, and especially if we're going to trace it, we definitely want to do the shade mode. Um, now I'm going to come over here and, uh, I don't know, normally on a video right about here I would uh, hit pause because nobody needs to watch me trace this, but in case you're a tracing rookie or you're bored or you're afraid I'll show something else if you hit pause or skip ahead. I'll just leave it running. And I should stay kind of on the part where it kind of ramps down. And you can make this as detailed or quick and messy as you want. But you'll want to do a pretty good job on this because we're going to use this curve to make a surface that this leaf is going to sit on when we're done. So I will take the time to do an OK job. So maybe I'll tell a couple jokes. I got some puns. Did you hear about the the blanket factory that went out of business? It folded. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> the Energizer Bunny got arrested the other day. He was charged with battery. <laughs> uh. That's it. That's all I got. Oh, I got I got a tricky one. There's these two vultures and they're going on a trip. And so they they go to get on the plane and each one has a a dead animal under each wing. So they each have two dead animals and the flight attendant stops them and goes, "Hey, only one carrion per passenger." <laughs> 
<sighs> if you don't know what carrying is, you'll have to look that up. Yeah, what's that spell? C A R. Yeah, C A R R I O N. But by then, if you have to explain it, then it's not a good joke. Okay. So, here's the, uh, here's the, the, uh, model, all, or the, the surface. So we'll turn that off. And there's the outline. And I'm going to go over to surface. And let's switch to this layer. And, Oh, I got one more. Should I do one more? Did you hear about the two weevils? And they were brothers. And they both lived on the weevil farm. And the one first brother weevil stayed on the farm and worked really hard for a lot of years. And the other weevil went to college and got his degree and got a really high-paying job. And they got together for a family reunion and the brother that stayed on the farm and just worked there became the, the lesser of two weevils. <laughs> it's pun day. Okay, so, uh, hmm, I don't even know what I was doing now. Oh, so we go over and we make a surface out of uh, that outline. So, let's do that. All right, now, so that our leaf is very leafy, um, I think we'll uh, do a little cage editing. So we'll take this, go to Transform, Cage Edit, Bounding Box, and World Coordinate, yeah. And I think um, X and Y, um, X will do five and y will do five and I like to do odd numbers so you get a row right down the middle kinda and uh, so we'll do that and that okay so now we can grab some dots and we'll turn off snaps and we'll move that up like that and then maybe we'll grab these here Move that up a little, and then we'll grab uh, these two, push those down, all right, and uh, maybe this one up. So we're just making that, you know, kind of do its thing. Maybe we'll do one more and we'll do these down. All right. So escape to get rid of that. And the cage object, I'll put on gray and turn it off. There we go. So now we have just a little kind of change up there in the surface. Oh, I forgot a part. Let's go back and let's uh, let's turn that off and let's bring this back out and we'll take this and we'll extrude it um, surface extrude both directions so it's solid now let's bring our let's go here and now there's we can't do split here because this is a mesh so we type mesh split and it says select the cutting objects Click there and hit enter now I would say I have about a 50 50 chance that this is really gonna split because meshes eh, they're a bit temperamental since it's a video it probably won't split if I didn't care it probably would but it's trying. All right, so there it's done. Let's check it out. Oh, it's split. Yay. Okay, if it doesn't split, 
the first thing I do is I go to our tools and I go to uh, right here is mesh reducer okay mesh reducer and I click that and I put the mesh in the box and I usually go about 90 percent maybe less maybe or you know more aggressive maybe 75 percent and that's you're meshing it to that number so you're reducing it by 25 percent um, and so uh, but I don't need to um, right now so we'll click that and delete it and let's turn off red again so there's my there's my cutout leaf now if you if you do have too much going on here and all this detail that matrix art does is too much you certainly can um, reduce it so let's let's give it a shot here uh, so there's the mesh and 75% let's hit reduce and there it says it's meshing it please wait and if you watch and it's still thinking the taskbar is going off the screen Oh, no. There we go. So it did it did reduce it. You can see this different pattern now. Can't say that it was, you know, all worth it, but uh not uh not too bad. Um what did that do to me too? Oh, it did a back to it. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to undo. Oops. Oh, let's do that. Let's undo. Undo that. Okay. So anyway, we're back. Okay. So now the other thing that we can do too, if we want to relax this a little more, is go to uh, transform and also do um, smooth and this is a little aggressive I usually do about 0.2 but let's try 0.5 and see what happens so there it smoothed it now we can click this and go smooth again there it goes and uh, that kind of evens out everything except for the the uh, lines, so that's that's fine. Um, all right, now here's where we where we're left. Then we've got our our kind of foldy surface and our textured mesh. So we're going to come over to um, utilities and right here is apply mesh UVN so I select the mesh I click that button and then I pick the surface that it's going to go up onto and let's see which way it goes okay it went uh, backwards and upside down so let's see could it have been more wrong mm, no so you can see there's the stem and there's the rest of it so let's undo so control Z alright and let's click on this and go to directions or right there okay and so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click here and invert the direction and hit enter and let's try again and see how that works just so we can see so there's apply mesh UVN on that surface okay and um, nope that didn't do anything let's see here let's go here and uh, let's go 
Let's see, if I swap UV, that should do it. Let's try that. I always have to sit and mess around with these. Now let's hit enter. There's the mesh. Fly mesh UVN. Right there. Aha! Oh, now we're the right way, but either U or V is off. So, let's undo that. And we got a 50-50 chance. So now, we click on this, and we go to DIR. And let's go U reverse. Enter. And here we go. I'm, I'm skeptical. Nope. Had a 50 50 chance. And I blew it. So here, there. So now we'll do U reverse, V reverse. Enter. Okay, come on. Fly mesh UVN to that surface. Uh, crap. You know, sometimes I don't like messing with this surface, and you can see why. Uh, U reverse, swap UV, flip. What I do is most of the time, which I should have done, and I thought I'd mess around in a video, is, let's see what it does. Okay. It's that way. So, I will take and rotate this thing uh, like that, and let's try it. So now we go apply mesh, UVN. Huh. Boy, you see, this is why I don't go to the gambling boats around here, because I always have a 50-50 chance, and I never quite get it. Yay! Okay, so I'll tell you what, rather than all that swap UV ABC thing, uh, if you do what you want done to the base object, like rotate, mirror it, move it, you, you'll be further ahead in the game, I will say. So let's turn off all this business, and so now let's look and see what we have. Now we have this textured leaf mapped right smack on the other one. And then I can take the, uh, there's the outside one, or the, the flat surface, and we can switch to, uh, there we go. We can switch to just shaded. And then we'll go over to solid, and this tool right here is extrude surface. So we click that. And uh, we pick straight, and however thick we want this is fine. So we'll extrude that a bit. And um, now we'll take the mesh and hide it. We've got the original surface right there. We can oh, oh, I got history on. Ooh. Um, but we can uh, delete that, and now we're left with the solid, and we can hit show. And um, there's what we have, a leaf with thickness and a texture on top, and that'll mill just great. As a matter of fact, I'm going to mill it and post a picture. But uh, there is uh, there's the leaf right there.